Hey everybody. Today's an exciting day. We are about to unbox the SRAM Eagle transmission system and check this whole thing out. So thought we'd just take a quick look at it. This is my first look at it and I'm kind of excited to see what this thing looks like. Um, still trying to decide which bike it's gonna go on. All right, so let's check this out. Um, all right, we'll go through this. Uh, I'm just gonna open this part. Okay, so first things up, you get some really cool stickers. Oh boy. All right, so uh, just like the previous wireless stuff, it comes stacked, although um, I think there's a piece of cardboard missing there that probably ought to be there. All right, so let's see what do we have in the top. We have the books. We have the chain. Now, I was told, I don't know if the link is in here, uh, looks like it is. Um, be really careful installing this. If you screw it up, you're kind of done because these are apparently not quite available yet. Ah, there's the mech. Wow, that's pretty. Um, here's the mech. Here's, here's what it looks like. This is the XO version. This thing is actually a behemoth. I'm gonna weigh all these parts and uh, I'll, I'll kind of get, get you what you want. It's interesting, I don't think it should be in a line like that. So what's going on? Oh, what's going on here? Oh, fascinating, check this out. So the way they designed this, that's really interesting. You could tell because it wasn't lined up exactly the way you would expect. Um, there are, I guess because this is modular and meant to be repaired, that is uh, that purple is essentially a, a bolt system. Oh yeah, check that out. So, okay, you ready? I should probably do this on camera. And then that thing just threads right back into place. And then, oh, there we go. Now it's, wow, that thing is, boy, that's got a stronger clutch than anything yet. So they had started to unscrew it to line it up from the box. So there's the Mac, beautiful piece of hardware. The non-drive side, um, it's interesting they've gone back to all aluminum, uh, very flat, very machined looking, um, really cool looking. Uh, this says dub wide. So I'm gonna guess wide means it'll work on super boost. Uh, we're going to find out. I haven't actually officially figured that out yet. Okay, so let's go ahead and sit this down. I'm back. All right, let's go through the next items. Uh, we've got flipped. Um, so it's probably got flipped in shipping. Charger's the same, which means battery is the same. So it looks like the batteries are compatible because that looks identical. Um, not sure what's in here. Let's find out. Feels like it's going to be chain links. Nope. Interesting. So these are inserts. There's a pair of them that match. Um, well, we'll get to it, figure it out. All right, so here's the new shifter. I have to say, kind of looking at it, the way it mounts, I'm sort of not super impressed with the, though, boy, that thing is actually takes some force to push. The, the tactile response is real. They've gotten rid of the trigger shift, which I loved, so, um, I've used that forever, way back when Shimano first released it. I've always liked Trigger Shift. So, um, fascinating. This is sort of not, it's, it's kind of neat. Um, I think if it were even more compact and fit up on the bars, maybe tighter, that could be really cool, but I'm, I'm a little bit intrigued. That's gonna be interesting to test. Okay, oh, check this out. Here's the drive side. The bash guard's already installed. Looking at it here, it looks like that's how it's installed. Wait, do these? No, oh, you know what? I believe, 
These are probably, this is pure speculation, a different button looking at it. Um, in case you want a different feel, I would guess. If you know what this is, maybe reply in the comments. There's, it's not like there's an instruction book in here telling me what it is. All right. Um, so they say that this is a new chain ring and that this chain ring only fits to that chain and that that chain can't run on any other chain ring. This isn't the first time SRAM has done this. Uh, I guess we're going to find out. The aesthetic and finish of this thing is really nice. Um, and this being built into the crank, this bash guard being built into the crank is really fascinating because well, it rotates. So you can't slide on it. Um, so you will have an exposed area on the non crank arm side. All right, so here's what's next. Ah, the cassette. Wow, that is light. Well, that is beautiful. They did a really good job. I mean, this thing is gorgeous. I'm guessing there's a lighter version in the SL. I haven't checked all the weights or specs. I, haven't, I really haven't dug into this at all yet. So, um, wow, that's, Jesus, look at the size of this thing. It's like a pie plate. Uh, you can tell you hold something up that like this, you never notice. Um, T-type chain only, all right? So uh, this whole, the system is all integrated now. Um, they did this before. This isn't the first time. It, they used to say you couldn't run any other chain but a SRAM chain. I run KMC chains. They last a long time. I don't get any weird premature wear. I don't know if that's true on this one. Plus the new chain is supposed to be like stupid strong. Seems to me this whole system was built around an e-bike and regular bikes because, or pros, because it's all about shifting under load from everything I'm reading so far. Um, so, um, regular riders don't shift under load very much. I mean, you accidentally do sometimes climbing, but most regular riders just don't shift under load because they're not laying that kind of power down. This thing's pretty light and it's, it's really nice looking. So, well, there you go. It is unboxed. Uh, my initial thoughts here are interesting. They went back to aluminum crank arms. Um, they look nice. They're machined beautifully. They should be strong and very durable. Um, the proprietary, how proprietary it is, I'm going to test that theory out in uh, in the videos. I'm going to see if, in fact, that chain will run on a different chain ring. So I'm going to open it and see what happens before I do that one-time use uh, connection link. Uh, you know, before I, I waste that link, I'm going to actually check a few things. Uh, so there's going to be an install video coming. So subscribe to the channel. Uh, hit like. There'll be an install video coming on this thing. We're going to do initial review, what it's like to set up. Uh, and then I'll do probably a little bit more of a long-term review on this thing. And um, you're going to get an unsponsored, not paid for, unbiased review of this. Um, not like what the pink bike guy said, where he's like, I'm the editorial reviewer and I'm not being paid to say this. Has anybody ever told him that pink bike only exists because somebody pays pink bike marketing money? Hey, let's let that go. Uh, I hope you guys like this video. Please like it. Subscribe to the channel. Um, go check me out, www.loamroamer.com. We're building custom bikes for people. I've got some stuff up on the website, but mostly hit me up if you want a custom bike built. You can see some of the bikes I've built. Um, my first mullet that I ever built for myself actually was in 2017. So I've been doing things to bikes for a long time and come up with some pretty amazing rides that you can go they look amazing and they go fast and that's what you want out of a bike. So thanks for watching this video and I hope to see you out on the trails. Here's a little outtake. Let's see if I can put this thing back together and it looks right. Are you ready? Let's try this. Okay. So we've got to put cardboard back on it on there. Uh, let's see. This was in here. I believe that should have been laying flat, but probably flopped around in shipping. Battery goes in there. Shifter goes there, I already put that back. Okay, we're not doing bad so far. Okay, that looks right. So let's go ahead and slide that onto its tray. Okay. Okay. So I gotta do that kind of unthread thing here. That way, nope. This way? No. 
there we go. Yep, need to unthread a little further. We need to put a chain here. The random. I think this, it's all creased. I think this should have probably been there. That would make more sense to me. I would say this one wasn't put away right and or somebody had pre-opened it. Um, okay, that looks more correct. Look at that. I think that looks really good. Okay, now, macaroni. Professional. <laughs>